Please adhere to YouTube's selected guidelines before viewing content of this video. I do not encourage or condone any products, actions, or behaviors shown in this video. All videos are produced in a safe, professional, and controlled environment. Please do not attempt to replicate any actions performed during the video. All actions are performed by professionals. Alrighty, so today I'm going to be smoking and reviewing the Paul Mall Athens Nightfall flavored cigarettes from Mexico, which contain 13 milligrams of tar, 0.9 milligrams of nicotine, and 10 milligrams of carbon monoxide, meaning that these are a stronger than not full flavored cigarette when compared to others on the Mexican cigarette market. From what I can tell, at least this specific variety of Paul Malls was introduced in mid-2021. And I'm figuring that since it's still on the market in Mexico, it must be a better seller than not. And so as such, I certainly am looking forward to trying this pack of cigarettes right here. But I will admit, while I am looking forward to trying this pack of cigarettes, I'm not really expecting to enjoy them all that much. As from what I can tell, at least the Paul Mall Athens Nightfall is a cucumber flavored cigarette. And I am not a fan of cucumber and I'm not a fan of cucumber flavored cigarettes. And so as such, while I am looking forward to trying these, I'm not expecting to enjoy them all that much, I will admit. But nonetheless, I am indeed gonna try them and give them a full review in today's video. But what is Paul Mall as a brand? Well, Paul Mall was originally an English brand of premium cigarettes that was first introduced in 1899. And from what I can tell, at least the brand became somewhat popular within England just a couple years after its introduction. As in 1907, the American Tobacco Company purchased the brand and later thereafter introduced it into the American market as well. The American Tobacco Company owned Paul Mall as a brand for a total of 87 or so years. And during American Tobacco's ownership, Paul Mall as a brand experienced the height of its popularity in America in the 1960s when it became the most sold brand of cigarettes in the entire United States, which is a pretty big deal if I do say so myself. That's not a title it whole held for very long, but it is a title it held for some period of time nonetheless, which is, well, a pretty big deal, I will admit. However, while Paul Mall was at one time a really big brand, and while it is still a bigger brand than not these days, it is very much a shell of its former self, at least within the United States. These days, inside the US of A, Paul Mall is a budget brand produced by RJ Reynolds. And outside of the United States, Paul Mall is still more so than not a budget brand produced instead by British American Tobacco, the parent company of RJ Reynolds these days. And while Paul Mall is not really a super big fan, uh, is not really a super big fan, it's not really a super big brand of cigarettes within the United States these days, to say that correctly, within Mexico, it is, from what I can tell, at least a different story. As if I had to guess, Paul Mall is probably the second most sold brand of cigarettes within Mexico due to their wide variety of cigarettes and lower prices than Marlboro. And so as such, every once in a while, they introduce a new variety onto the Mexican market, with this being one of the newer ones. This specific variety, as said, was introduced from what I can tell at least in mid-2021, meaning that this variety is just about two, two and a half years old now as of the recording of this video. And I am figuring it must be a better selling variety than not, because otherwise they wouldn't have kept it on the market. And so as such, I am looking forward to trying this variety. But as I said earlier on in the video, I'm not expecting to enjoy it all that much as I am expecting these to be cucumber flavored. But what are my specific expectations for? Well, this pack of cigarettes right here, the Paul Mall Athens Nightfall flavored cigarettes from Mexico. Well, this is a pop capsule cigarette. And so as such, taste wise, before I pop any of the pop capsules, I am expecting the taste to very much just be a sort of like basic, maybe slightly icy, slightly sweet spearmint taste if I had to guess. Once you pop the first pop capsule, I am expecting there to be a slightly icy, slightly salty, cucumber-like taste if I had to guess. And then once I pop the second pop capsule, I'm just expecting the menthol to get stronger and more icy if I had to guess. Yeah, definitely doesn't seem like the greatest taste in the world to me, but... 
I'm looking forward to trying these nonetheless, I do suppose. I'm not expecting there to be any sort of a chemical or added taste or anything like that kind of thing, just simply because I'm thinking the flavoring in the cigarette is probably going to cover up that taste quite a bit if there is any of that taste to begin with. I'd have to say body-wise, I am expecting these cigarettes right here to have a pretty decent sized body. Uh, by all means, it's a pretty strong cigarette when compared to other Mexican cigarettes, that is for sure. And so as such, I'm expecting a decent body, even though this is a 100 size cigarette. I'm expecting draw-wise, the draw to start off as a heavier yet still slightly airy draw and for it to get lighter as it gets uh, as we get towards the bottom of the cigarette just simply because of the size of these cigarettes right here I am expecting the airflow of the cigarette to be perfectly fine in all honesty, and I'm expecting the roughness and smoothness of the cigarettes to be, if I had to guess, probably around about a 5 or a 6 out of 10. Could very well be rougher, could very well be smoother, but I'm thinking probably slightly smoother than a normal, unflavored, uh full flavored cigarette, but not really super smooth by any means kind of thing, just due to the strength of these cigarettes right here. So, you know, I'm expecting roughness, smoothness wise, these to just be uh, round about, I'd have to say a five or a six out of 10 with 10 being the roughest and one being the smoothest. So definitely either average roughness or slightly stronger than average roughness. Those are pretty much my expectations for, well, this pack of cigarettes right here, though. And so as such, now, without further ado, I do suppose I should probably go ahead and hop into the packaging of, well, the Paul Mall Athens Nightfall flavored cigarettes from Mexico. Now, shouldn't I? But before I go over the packaging, not before I go over the packaging, but after I go over the packaging, I'm going to go ahead and get the cellophane all off. I'm going to go and get the pack of cigarettes all opened up. I'm going to go and let you guys know what the cigarettes look like, what they feel like, and what the quality of them is like. And then after that, I'm going to go ahead and get one of the Palm Mall Athens Nightfall flavored cigarettes from Mexico all lit up. And I'm going to go ahead and let you guys know how these cigarettes right here actually are. After that, I'm going to go ahead and give you guys my final thoughts on the cigarettes. And then after that, I'm going to go ahead and give them a rating as well. But first off, as I said, we got to go ahead and start with the packaging. There we go. I said that all correctly. There we go. Got my word just a little bit jumbled up today. I will admit, but that is perfectly fine. You know what I'm saying? That is perfectly fine. As said, though, first off, we got to go over the packaging, which I really am not a fan of, I will admit. I am not a big fan of this packaging. Now, granted, I'm not really a big fan of Paul Mall packaging in Mexico to begin with kind of thing. I can't think of a single pack of Paul Malls from Mexico where I've been like, wow, that's amazing packaging kind of thing. I cannot think of a single pack of Paul Malls from Mexico where I have thought that. Some of them, they don't have bad packaging, and some of them have good packaging by, any, by all means kind of thing, but... This is definitely the worst looking one I've seen so far, and I really am not a fan of it, that is for sure. From a distance, definitely more distinct than not, that is for sure kind of thing. You can definitely tell if you know what the colors mean and everything like that kind of thing, and if you know what you're looking for variety was, you're going to be able to tell whether the place you're trying to buy cigarettes from sells this uh, pack of cigarettes or not. Definitely more distinct than not from a distance, that is for sure. But due to the good brand continuity of this cigarette, it is going to be a little bit hard to tell the difference between different palm malls when this is lined up against other palm malls and everything like that kind of thing just because some other palm malls tend to have somewhat similar color schemes i will admit but more so than not you can tell that this is a palm mall from a distance and more so than not you can tell what this specific variety of palm malls is and so as such it is pretty distinct from a distance which is which is a good thing but up close it just looks really cheap semi gimmicky and and just not really all that good in all honesty and that really is the reason why i'm not a big fan of this pack of cigarettes right here but I do think that this packaging was purposefully designed like that because Paul Mall is meant to be, within Mexico, a brand that um, I would have to say uh, undersells Marlboros. They're, they're trying to be lower priced than Marlboros. And so as such, they're trying to make themselves look a little bit cheaper kind of thing. And this packaging, frankly put, looks pretty cheap. And I think it was purposefully designed that way. And so while this packaging is very much not by preference, and while I very much do not like this packaging, I think it is doing the job that they designed it to do quite well, I will admit. It's distinct from a distance, it looks cheap, and uh, I'm not a big fan of it in general, but I think it does the job that British American Tobacco wanted it to do. But even though I'm not a fan of this packaging, I am still going to go over it 
nonetheless. So first off, let's go ahead and start with the background of the packaging, which we can see is all black. Just all the way around there is a black uh, background, just all the way around all of the details on the packaging and everything like that. Let's go ahead and now cover the Paul Mall logo itself. We can just see the Paul Mall logo itself is very simple, just all in white with a black border going all the way around all of the text. And just this, this is just very much the uh, traditional Paul Mall text, really nothing too interesting or too modern going on here kind of thing. It is just very much the normal Paul Mall text that we see on cigarettes even in the United States. Behind the Paul Mall text right here, we can see there are the Paul Mall bar bars going diagonally across the packaging. This one right here is blue and this one right here is green. And we can see there are some lines on the Paul Mall bars right here with a little bit of like a glossy area right here and everything like that kind of thing meant to look like a highlight and same on this side right here. Definitely interesting that is for sure. We can see going around the Paul Mall bars, there is a little bit of a swirl and everything like that kind of thing meant to emphasize that this is indeed a pop capsule cigarette. This all looks like a circle because it's a, well, a pop, because it's meant to look like a pop capsule and everything like that kind of thing. And half of it is blue and half of it is green, signifying that this is indeed a, um, well, I'd assume cucumber and mint cigarette or cucumber and menthol cigarette and everything like that kind of thing. We can see as well, the Pall Mall bars do have a little bit of a drop shadow to them kind of thing. We can see some black drop shadow under the Pall Mall bars right there, which is a pretty good look if I do say so myself. And the Pall Mall bars as well do indeed have a black border going all the way around them, which looks pretty good as well. And that drop shadow fades out pretty quickly. Overall, not a bad look for the drop shadow and everything like that kind of thing. But as an overall design, I'm just really not a big fan of it. But I do think that this does a really good job of signifying that it is indeed a pop capsule cigarette. Moving on above all of this, uh, all of the uh, designs right here and everything like that kind of thing, we can just see there is a little ribbon stretching across the uh, front of the packaging right here that is all in a like bright green, just like this green over here. And in white on that green ribbon, it just says Athens Nightfall right there, which is indeed the variety name for this pack of cigarettes right here. The Athens Nightfall ribbon, the green ribbon, has a border of blue going around it, which is pretty interesting if I do say myself, and a little bit of a drop shadow as well on this yellow ribbon as well, which has red text on it. It just says Ahora N14s, which just means now in 14. So this is a 14 uh, pack of cigarettes. This is not a 20 pack of cigarettes. Uh, 14 packs of cigarettes are indeed available for sale in Mexico, unlike in the United States where the regulation has made where uh, manufacturers can't sell cigarettes uh, below or over uh, 14 or not 14 packs, sorry, 20 packs. But in Mexico, no regulation like that exists. So there are 25 packs, there are 20 packs, and there are 14 packs and 15 packs and stuff like that kind of thing and this just so happens to be a 14 packs and uh, and so and this just so i don't need to take a sip of water i'm getting more just a little bit jumbled up i can get a lyle maybe what it be but as said this pack of cigarettes just so happens to be a 14 pack and uh, i guess it's a i guess the 14 pack is a recent edition because it just says now in 14s right there on this uh yellow background in red text that uh yellow sort of um label going across with the yellow ribbon going across. I don't really know the correct way of describing that, I will admit. Um, does not have a border to it, but does have a little bit of a drop shadow going into the uh, circle right here and everything like that kind of thing. Does have a little bit of a drop shadow. Certainly no complaints on my behalf about that. Surprisingly detailed for something that is just meant to be like, hey, new. This is a 14 pack that's new and everything like that kind of thing. Try me. A surprisingly interesting, surprisingly uh, detailed look, I will admit. Surprisingly detailed look, I will admit. So I, I gotta give it some credit kind of thing. I gotta give it some credit. Moving on to the side of all of these details right here, we can just see there is a blue and a green pop capsule right there with the blue one having some shiny areas and same with the green one as well and some blue lines going around that one and some green lines going around that one right there and everything like that kind of thing. Pretty interesting if I do say so myself. I wonder if those lines are meant to signify intensity, like maybe because there's less blue lines right here, the blue, the, the menthol is going to be less intense than the green, the cucumber flavor. I do wonder about that. That is quite interesting if I do say it myself. I wonder why there's more or less lines on one or the other. Maybe it's meant to signify strength. I kind of doubt that there's that much depth to it, I will admit, but that would be pretty interesting nonetheless. And then we can see moving on below all of this right here on the uh, black background, we can just see there is some silver text right here. And it just says that this pack of cigarettes right here contains 14 cigarettes, which uh, just means cigarettes in Spanish. 
Um, you know, that's pretty much all there is to the design on the front of the packaging. We can see there is indeed a warning label right here as well. There's a lady hooked up to an oxygen breather and just says Fumar Incrementa, Incrementa, uh, Eldano por COVID-19, which just means uh, smoking can aggravate uh, COVID-19, like smoking can aggravate the effects of COVID-19 not COVID and everything like that kind of thing. Um, I don't care in all honesty. We ball, you know what I'm saying? I don't care. Uh, even if I uh, had COVID-19, I'd still smoke these because, you know, big baller moves, you know what I'm saying? Big baller moves. Nothing ain't going to stop me from smoking. And I'm like, hey, if I was to get COVID-19, I would be even more likely to smoke menthols because I mean like, hey, got to make sure my throat ain't feeling super rough. I mean, like when I get a cold and stuff like that kind of thing, what do I smoke? I smoke menthols because they're smoother on my throat. They relax my throat and everything like that kind of thing. So I mean like, hey, if I was to... Uh, I was to uh, get COVID. I was. I, I would definitely smoke one of these kind of thing. That is for sure. So I think. I think this is more of an advertisement than a warning. I will admit. <laughs> it's definitely more of an advertisement than a warning. That is for sure. One hundred percent. One hundred percent. But you know, overall. The packaging, now that I'm looking at it, does have a surprising amount of detail to it. The blue border going around there, the drop shadow under the palm oil bars, the drop shadow under this right here, and the uh, lines on this side being more so than the lines on this side. There is a surprising amount of detail to the packaging, I will admit, but it does have overall more so than not a simple look when you're not really looking like super close at it kind of thing, but all of the details come to make a very, uh, not nice look as a whole, but just a, a very, um, Ah, oh, there's. I don't want to describe it as nice because I'm not really a super big fan of the packaging, but it comes to make a full look. Let me put it that way. This this packaging does not look unfinished by any means, kind of thing. It comes to it makes a very finished look. I think that's the right way of putting it. It makes a very finished look, and uh, overall, this packaging feels very concise, which is something I do like about it. But more so than not, I'm not really a super big fan of this packaging. It comes off as a semi cheap look, and um, I just don't really like how it looks as a whole, kind of thing not really a super big fan of how it looks as a whole but it's not a terrible look by any means and i think it does its job pretty well definitely not the worst cigarette packaging i've ever seen nowhere near the worst cigarette packaging i've ever seen but it definitely is the uh least favorite it definitely is my least favorite palm oil packaging i've seen so far far from mexico i'd have to say you know that's what the front of the packaging looks like not a super big fan in my personal opinion but i think it does the job that british american tobacco designed it to do that is for sure Moving on to this side of the packaging right here, we can see, once again, a background of black. So I do suppose you could argue that the uh, design on this side stretches around to this side, even though none of the colors or anything stretch around. That would be pretty cool if we saw them stretch around, but it doesn't. It is what it is kind of thing. Makes sense, you know what I'm saying? Makes sense. I totally get it, and I like that they didn't even try to and then make it look bad kind of thing. I've seen that where they're like, oh, let's make it stretch around, and then it just looks worse than it would look if it didn't try to stretch around. And I'm like, I get what y'all were trying to do kind of thing, but, but it just doesn't work kind of thing. Thankfully, they didn't try that with this packaging, but the background on this side is still black nonetheless, which I think is a pretty good look, especially since this is black right here, so it all lines up pretty well and everything like that kind of thing, but we can just see at the top right here in white, it just says B-A-T right there, British American Tobacco with the uh, British American Tobacco uh, like signature logo and everything like that kind of thing. This is all in there, like logo and everything like that kind of thing makes sense. doesn't just actually say British American Tobacco. It says B-A-T in their signature logo and everything like that kind of thing. Moving on below that, we can just see the tar, nicotine, and carbon monoxide levels. These cigarettes have uh, 13 milligrams of tar, 0.9 milligrams of nicotine, and 10 milligrams of carbon monoxide as said. Then under that, it just says uh, British American Tobacco, Mexico, S-A-D-C-V, Francisco, 1 Maduro, um, 2750 PTE Call Central Monterey and L CP 64,000 MR excuse me Hecho and Mexico so Hecho and Mexico means made in Mexico these so these cigarettes are indeed made in Mexico which is pretty cool if I do say so myself um, and all of the stuff I said before, Hecho and Mexico was pretty much just like where their factory and headquarters is located and everything like that kind of thing. Uh, British American Tobacco is indeed located in Monterey, not in Mexico City like most other um, cigarette companies are within Mexico. I want to say Philip Morris and Japan Tobacco are both located in Mexico City, whereas British American is instead located in Monterey. Uh, and then we can see under that text right there, it just says www.batmexico.com or dot, it says www.batmexico.com. Dot com dot mx to say that correctly and then under that it just says 800 400 5, 000, which is i guess their consumer line if you have a complaint or a question or something like that kind of thing then under all of that it just says paraventa exclusiva in mexico which just means for exclusive sale in mexico so you cannot sell it anywhere else and then under that we just get the barcode right there 
pretty basic look for the side of the packaging, not really anything uh, super interesting by any means kind of thing, just tells you all the information you need to know about the cigarette and about the manufacturer. Moving on to the other side of the packaging right here, we can just see it just says Fumar Pueda Agravar Aldano por COVID-19, which just means uh, smoking can aggravate COVID-19, smoking can aggravate the effects of COVID-19 and everything like that kind of thing. And it's just a warning that is uh, required by uh, the Mexican government to put on the side of every single pack of cigarettes along with the uh, warning right here and the warning on the side right here and everything like that kind of thing. So not really much can be said about this. It's just a warning label, I will admit. But you know, within Mexico, 30% of the front of the packaging must be covered by warning labels, 100% uh, of one side and 100% of the back. It is what it is kind of thing. It is what it is. At least it's not plain packaging. It could be worse, that is for sure. You know, that's what the warning label says on this side. On the back of the packaging, it just says, warning, Secretary of Health informs that... Um, Las personas fumadoras uh, tienen el doble de riesgo de solero, uh, de, de solero casos severos de COVID-19 y uh, de mor uh, por esta infección, uh, which I want to say just means uh, that people who smoke have double the risk of getting severe cases of COVID-19 and lung infections or something like that kind of thing. I did translate this before this video and it says something along those lines, but I cannot remember exactly what it says. Then it just says right here that this pack of cigarettes, that the cigarettes inside this pack right here contain cyanide, uh, which is a um, gas that can destroy your lungs apparently, at least according to the uh, warning label right here. And then under that, it just says, uh, C queries, de Fumar, Lama L, 800 911 2000, which is Mexico's quit smoking line. Honestly, I mean, like, I totally see why they're putting a warning label on the back of this about cyanide, but I mean, like, I think that's, I think that's more of an advertisement than any kind of, kind of thing. I mean, like, you smoke cigarettes to die, right? And so as such, I mean, like, having cyanide in a cigarette, I mean, like, it, it's just all the more reason to smoke, right? That's what I'd be saying. That's what I'd be saying. I'm just joking. I'm just joking, y'all. But, but, pretty amusing nonetheless. That's pretty much all there is the back of the packaging. Let's go ahead and flip back to the front. And now let's go to the top of the packaging. We just see the Pall Mall bars right here looking exactly like they look on the uh, front of the packaging just with no Pall Mall logo, just basically a uh, miniature version of uh, what we saw on the front of the packaging right here kind of thing. We can see there's a little bit of a a little bit of a blue and, and green on this side and everything like that, but overall more so than not, the background is black. And do the Pall Mall bars still have a drop shadow to them? A little bit of a drop shadow, but not too much by any means kind of thing, but they do still have a little bit of a drop shadow to them. But uh, yeah, pretty similar look as we saw in the front of the packaging, basically just a miniaturized version. Moving on to the bottom of the packaging, we can see black background. Uh, we can just see it just says Pall Mall right there in very small text. And this is very much literally a miniaturized version of the Pall Mall logo right here, just simply because it actually does say Pall Mall right there. But other than that, it's pretty much the exact same look that we saw in the front of the packaging right here. Moving on to the side of this, we can just see uh, two pop capsules right there, uh, blue and green. Uh, blue, blue, once again, still has less uh, circles going around it than the green one. And and under that, uh, the, those two pop capsules right there just says Athens Nightfall, with Athens being in green and Nightfall being in blue right there. And then we can just see some cigarette numbers for this packaging right here. And it just says uh, 0153L01QL09861722C4220508. Uh, I don't know what any of that means. I will admit, if you guys know what that means, let me know in the comments down below. But um, yep, that's what the cigarette numbers for this packaging actually are. I do suppose, without further ado, now that I've covered the packaging and um, now that I've kind of given you guys my final thoughts on the packaging, obviously I'm not really a super big fan of it. I do suppose now I should probably go ahead and get the cellophane all off of this pack of cigarettes right here. And I should probably go ahead and take a look at the quality of the packaging before I get one of the cigarettes out and let you guys know what the cigarettes look like, what they feel like, what the quality of them is like. So... Let's go ahead and get the uh, cellophane all off of this pack of cigarettes right here. There we go. Just like that. Does it look better with no cellophane on? Now, well, as with most packs of cigarettes, it does look better with the cellophane off, not on. Um, but it still doesn't look all that great, I will admit, kind of thing. Some packs of cigarettes, it's like, whoa, I took the cellophane off and it looks like 10 times better kind of thing. Not with this pack of cigarettes. I mean, like, it looks better with the cellophane off as pretty much every single pack of cigarettes does. But... Still doesn't look super great by any means kind of thing. Uh, the quality of the packaging is about average. There's some little bits I can flick my fingers on and whatnot kind of thing. I mean, like, it's just about average packaging, I'd have to say. Um, it's pretty hard to make a pack of cigarettes that has above or below average packaging kind of thing. That's not really something you see super often. And, yeah, this is just about average quality packaging, I definitely have to say. Uh, without further ado, oh, and the texture, 
the texture of the packaging is just very much printed paperboard as well. Almost forgot to mention that. Yep, very much just printed paperboard uh, texture on the packaging. Without further ado, now let's go ahead and get this pack of cigarettes all opened up. Let's go and take a look at what the uh, cigarette insert actually looks like. There's nothing going on on the cigarette lid right here. We can see the insert has a uh, more interesting cut to it than not. I definitely have to say it's all white as we can see. Pretty basic that is for sure. But we can see it goes down right here and then it goes down a little bit more and then back up kind of to make room for the uh, palm oil bars right here which is pretty interesting if I do say so myself. The foil is all a very nice uh, silver. A little bit of metallic silver that is for sure. And we can see the palm oil bars right there. Certainly no complaints by behalf. Let's go and see what the texture of this foil is like. Very much a foily paper like texture that is for sure. Let's go and see how easily this rips out. Rips out pretty easily. Needed a little bit to rip it out, but uh, certainly no complaints on my behalf, that is for sure. And right off the bat, I am immediately greeted with a decent amount of menthol smell and a decent amount of a sweet smell as well. And I'm feeling, because I'm smelling some saltiness as well, that these are definitely going to be, <laughs> and these are definitely going to be cucumber flavored. <laughs> I was kind of holding out to really hope they were going to be like green apple flavored or something like that kind of thing. And I was really hoping I was going to be wrong, but no, they're, they're going to be cucumber flavored. I'm very confident of it now. Yeah, I'm thinking these are probably going to be cucumber flavored. Oh, I'm not looking forward to that. I'm not looking forward to that. It is what it is kind of thing. Not a big fan of cucumber flavored cigarettes, as I'm sure you guys can tell. Without further ado, though, let's go ahead and get one of the Pall Mall Athens Nightfall cigarettes all out. And let's go ahead and actually take a look at what these cigarettes actually look like, what they feel like, and what the quality of them is like. Real quick, though, before I let you guys know what the look of them is like, I want to first off. Some Pall Malls have sweetened tips. This is not one of them. This does not have a sweetened cigarette filter. Taking a look at the look of the Pall Mall, though, we can see it's a pretty basic look. Not really too much going on, I will admit. Although... This specific cigarette does have some stuff that is specific for this cigarette, which is pretty nice if I do say so myself. We can see there's a green pop capsule up here on the white cigarette filter. And there's a blue pop capsule down here, and we can see there's a bunch of swirly lines going around that green pop capsule right there. And same with the blue pop capsule, a bunch of swirly lines going around and everything like that kind of thing. Not a bad look at all if I do say so myself. Stretching around, we can just see it just stretches all the way around back to the pop capsules once again we can see some stretchy lines and some more stretchy lines going all the way around just like that kind of thing so you know uh, it's not like there's a pop capsule on one side and a pop capsule on the other side it just stretches around and it's the same pop capsules and everything like that kind of thing all of that is on a white cigarette filter that does indeed have one line of perforation on it that line of perforation does not have too many dots although there definitely are more dots than not and the dots are pretty big so i'm definitely expecting this to be more of an airy smoke than not that is for sure but as said Green dot right there with the uh, swirly lines going around. Blue dot right there with swirly lines going around. One line of perforation that has a decent amount of dots, and those dots are bigger than not. Moving on below that, we can see there is a black line. And then under that black line, it just says Paul Mall in black with the two bars in the center of the Paul Mall logo being made of blue and green, just like we saw on the front of the packaging and actually oriented in the exact same way as well, not reversed. That's pretty nice if I do say so myself. That's pretty nice. And that certainly is a pretty unique, um, maybe not unique because this is actually not a super unique look when compared to others in Mexico, although it is pretty unique when compared to United States cigarettes. But it's definitely a nicer look than not to have a unique design specific to this pack of cigarettes, let me put it that way, because this is definitely a specific design unique to this pack of cigarettes, because the color scheme is just too similar, I'm gonna lie, it's just too similar. You know, they're all on a basic white filter, really not much else to say in all honesty. Doesn't look bad, but when compared to some other cigarettes in Mexico, it is a pretty basic look if I do say so myself, but not a bad look by any means, that is for sure. Definitely a better look than not, but not like a super interesting look by any means. It is just nice though, that, um. Yeah, so this design is definitely unique to the packaging, that is for sure. Or it is unique to this pack of cigarettes, that is for sure. Let's go and take a look at what the blend of the tobacco is like. The blend of the tobacco is very much, in my personal opinion, a medium blend. I'm seeing some lighter aspects. I'm seeing some lighter tobacco, but more so than that, it is just very much a medium tobacco. Nothing super dark, nothing super light. Definitely, I'd have to say, very much a darker than not medium blend, but not really like a dark medium blend. Just very much a darker than not medium blend, in my personal opinion, but more so a medium blend than not, that is for sure, but a darker one, that is for sure. I know that's what the blend of the tobacco looks like. Let's go ahead and just smell this cigarette right off the bat. And the cigarette surprisingly smells kind of sweet, I will admit. I'm just going to get another one of the Pall Mall Athens Nightfalls out real quick. 
Okay. So right when you get it out of the pack, you're able to smell the menthol a lot easier kind of thing with that one since it's been out of the packaging for a couple minutes now. Not able to smell the menthol as easily kind of thing. But you do get very much a um, sweet menthol scent from these cigarettes. Yeah, definitely very much a sweet menthol scent, I definitely have to say. Yeah, surprisingly sweet, almost sugary menthol scent. No sort of saltiness at all kind of thing. Hmm, maybe that saltiness was just the tobacco or something like that kind of thing. And yeah, no sweetened, uh, no sweetened cigarette filter. Well, I'm going to go and put this cigarette back in the packaging. And um, I do suppose that's pretty much all I had to say. Yeah, very much uh, smells of um, just sweet spearmint, sweet menthol, sweet mint kind of thing. Interesting, interesting to say the least. Definitely not quite I was what I was expecting, but I am kind of thinking that once I pop the pop capsule, it's going to go from sweet to salty more than likely, but maybe the uh, initial spearmint taste is going to be a little bit sweeter than I am expecting it to actually be. But I think that's pretty much all I wanted to say. And so now, without further ado, I do suppose it is time for me to go ahead and get one of my Pall Mall Athens Nightfall cigarettes all lit up. And it's time for me to go ahead and let you guys know how these flavored cigarettes from Mexico actually are. And so as such, without further ado, let's go ahead and get this cigarette right here all lit up. And let's go ahead and find out how it actually is. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. You know what I'm saying? I'm saying. I had to grab myself a little bit of a screenshot, you know what I'm saying? Had to do it. But the taste right off the bat is definitely not as sweet as the smell would have liked me to believe. The taste I'm getting right now is very much a, I'd have to say, hmm. It is a slightly icy, Slightly sweet, yet also slightly sour menthol taste. Not a super interesting menthol taste by any means kind of thing, but also more interesting than I was expecting it to be. So that is an initial surprise, I will admit. But that's very much what the taste is like before you pop any of the pop capsules. Let's real quick go ahead and taste. Uh, taste. Let's go in real quick. Test what the body is like. Body. Definitely much bigger and much thicker than not. That is for sure. Certainly no complaints on my behalf. Let's go ahead and now pop the uh, first pop capsule, the green pop capsule right here, and let's see what the taste is like after that pop capsule. Ooh, there we go. That's a little bit harder than not. I'm not really getting too much of a scent off of that. Let's see what it tastes like, though. And now I'm getting, yep, cucumber. Cucumber, salty cucumber. Yep, salty cucumber taste. I mean, like, maybe it would be refreshing if it was, like, the middle of July in summertime. But as of the recording of this video, it's not the middle of July in summertime. It's very much fall as of the recording of this video. And so it's definitely not as refreshing as it could be. But... The taste is now a... Mildly sweet, salty, yeah, it's very much a heavily salty, mildly sweet, cucumber-like taste with that menthol still mixed in there kind of thing. It's very much what the taste is like now, I'd have to say. Really, exactly what I was expecting in all honesty. Probably a little bit sweeter than I was expecting. It's not super salty by any means kind of thing. I've definitely had saltier cucumber-flavored cigarettes, and this is actually a better cucumber-flavored cigarette than not in my perspective. I actually kind of like the sweetness of it. It's not exactly my preference, I will admit, but... It's not the worst cucumber-flavored cigarette I've ever had, that is for sure. Let's go ahead and test what the uh, airflow is like. Airflow is perfectly fine. Not super tightly packed cigarettes by any means. And the draw as a whole. Definitely 
It's uh, about right in all honesty. It's got some significance to it. It's not a super light draw by any means, not a super hairy draw either, even with the perforation, but definitely not a super heavy draw by any means kind of thing. A little bit airy, not super airy due to the perforation, but, um, or due to the perforation, it is a little bit airy, but not super airy, which is a surprise. I was expecting it to be a little bit more airy with the amount of dots and the large and the, the, the largeness of the dots, that is for sure, but not super big by any means kind of thing. A little bit of a surprise. But you know, airflow is perfectly fine. Draw, perfectly fine in all honesty. Not super heavy, not super light. Just about perfect for my personal preference, I will admit. And um, roughness and smoothness-wise, these cigarettes are very much, I'd have to say, a 5 out of 10. They're not super rough by any means. Also, not super smooth by any means either, but definitely, I'd have to say, a 5 out of 10 in my personal opinion. <sighs> yeah, definitely, there is some roughness in there. But more so than not, I'd actually have to say maybe a 4 or 5 out of 10. Yeah, I'll have to figure that out as I get lower on the cigarette, but... But definitely smoother than not, that is for sure. Not super smooth, but definitely smoother than not, that is for sure. We got one more pop capsule to pop, though, so let's go ahead and pop that pop capsule as well. Just popped it. A lot easier than the first one, that is for sure, since it's all warmed up. And uh, let's go and see what the cigarette tastes like now. And that uh, second pop capsule had some more saltiness in it, along with a little bit more iciness as well, and a little bit more menthol. I'd have to say that menthol, though, did a really good job of exemplifying the cucumber taste. But other than that, it didn't really do too much kind of thing. It wasn't, it's not a super intense taste by any means kind of thing. But definitely just slightly more saltiness, slightly more iciness, slightly more menthol, but not really too much by any means kind of thing. The saltiness is definitely the main thing coming from that menthol. But there's still that sweetness in there. There's still that sweetness in there, which is pretty nice if I do say so myself. And I think that's all I had to the cigarette. That was really rough if I do say so myself. Wow, wasn't that expecting that. That was really icy. Yeah, I think I got a little bit of the filter on that one, I will admit, y'all. Um, I didn't taste any filter taste, but maybe it was just that the cigarette was burning just a little bit. I don't know. I don't know that the cigarette filter was burning just a little bit. I'm not sure in all honesty. Well, that was pretty much all there was to the cigarette, though. Overall, as said, very much started out as a... Uh, mildly sweet, mildly sour, basic sort of spearmint taste with really not too much going on. Then it became sort of a mildly sweet, more salty than not cucumber taste, but still with that sweetness in there, which was pretty nice. Then after that, it very much became a, um, a slightly more icy, slightly more salty, yet still slightly sweet um, cucumber-like taste kind of thing with more menthol in there as you pop the second pop capsule. And definitely with that last hit is why I do feel like that uh, the iciness might have not come through on that first hit I took. I feel like it definitely introduced a lot of iciness into the cigarette because that last hit was really icy if I do say so myself. Overall, what are my final thoughts on uh, these cigarettes right here? Smoking-wise, better than I thought they were going to be, for sure. I'm not one for cucumber-flavored cigarettes, but this is definitely not the worst cucumber-flavored cigarette I've ever had. Definitely had saltier ones. This was not so bad. Definitely cucumber flavored. Definitely cucumber flavored, but not bad. Not bad at all. Yeah. So what are my final thoughts on this pack of cigarettes right here? The Paul Mall Athens Nightfall flavored cigarettes from Mexico. Well, the packaging, I'm not a super big fan of. It looks cheap. I'm not a fan. I think it does the job. I think it was designed this way, and I think it's meant to look this way purposefully, and I think they did a good job designing it to look this way. That is for sure, as long as that was intentional, that is. But I'm not really the super big, uh, I'm not really the biggest fan of how it looks kind of thing, I will admit. So the packaging, man, it's average packaging in my personal opinion, but um, it's not super great packaging by any means. It's just average packaging. I think it does the job. It's not ugly packaging by any means kind of thing, but it's not beautiful by any means either. It's certainly not a work of art. And that is very much my preference when it comes to packaging. I like packaging that looks like a work of art. And uh, this is definitely not a work of art, that is for sure. But not the worst packaging. And I think it does, I think it does the job that it's intended to do. Uh, the look of the cigarettes overall, more so than not, I... Uh, Pretty good look, but uh, not a super interesting look by Mexican standards by any means kind of thing, but not a bad look by any means kind of thing. Quality of the cigarettes as a whole, pretty decent. The um, the taste of the cigarettes was very much a, uh, started out as a pretty basic, mildly sweet, mildly sour spearmint taste. The Then once you pop the uh, green pop capsule, you get very much a cucumber-like taste. Uh, still with that sweetness in there, but 
a little bit of saltiness in there as well then at that point as well and once you pop the second pop capsule it becomes a lot more icy and uh, you get still some sweetness in there but also a little bit more saltiness as well due to the iciness exemplifying that saltiness i'd have to say body wise the uh cigarettes i only tested the body once i forgot to test it more than once but the body not bad at all all throughout the cigarette from what i can tell at least and the airflow was pretty good all throughout the cigarette as well definitely got a little bit um easier to the cigarette definitely became a little bit easier to draw uh, as we got lower on in the cigarette but definitely more so than not the draw was just about perfect i'd have to say definitely i'd have to say a little bit heavier than not but not super heavy by any means kind of thing very much a medium draw not a super light draw by any means a very nice draw if i do say so myself and not super airy even though there was a line of perforation on the filter which was quite surprising and also yeah the body was not super airy either it was, it was pretty pretty dense smoke so feeling like the perforation is doesn't doesn't really do all that much kind of thing which is surprisingly surprising i will admit um not bad at all though if i do say so myself and um yep yeah, draw was good airflow was good taste man nah, it's not very much my preference but it's exactly what i was expecting it delivered pretty well i will admit for a cucumber flavored cigarette i liked it more so than not and um roughness and smoothness wise these were very much i'd have to say five out of ten i was thinking maybe a four out of ten but throughout the cigarette very much a four out of ten but as you get towards the end is very much a five out of ten so i'm gonna leave it at a five out of ten definitely smoother cigarettes than not but not super smooth nor are they super rough very much a five out of ten on the roughness and smoothness scale with ten being the roughest and one being the smoothest but Overall, more so than not, these are actually surprisingly better cigarettes than, well, not. And as such, I am a little bit conflicted as to what rating to give them because I am not a fan of cucumber-flavored cigarettes. And so as such, I wouldn't buy these again. But when it comes to cucumber-flavored cigarettes, these are the best I've had. I have had a couple cucumber-flavored cigarettes before. I want to say I had a, um, both from Click and Mix Packs from, um, like um what is it called what what is it called um like random mix of flavor packs and everything like that kind of thing from packs of cigarettes with a, a random mix of flavors in them um cucumber flavored cigarettes i've had from the random mix of flavor packs i'm not a fan of i don't like them frankly put um i haven't tried a cucumber flavored cigarette i've liked up until this point but this one is not so bad this one is not so bad I wouldn't buy it again because because I don't really like cucumber flavored cigarettes. If I was going to buy a Pall Mall flavored cigarette, I'd much rather buy something like the Pall Mall Tokyo Midnight or something like that kind of thing. That is very much, much more to my preference. But if you do like salty cucumber-like tastes and you live in Mexico or you're visiting Mexico, I think these might be more to your preference than not. I think they might be more to your preference than not. Yeah. 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 So, you know, if you like cucumber, this is definitely the best cucumber flavored cigarette I've tried so far. And it's not a bad smoke. And honestly, I can see myself enjoying the rest of this pack over the next month or so. I'm not going to smoke it super fast. It's going to have to be one of those things where I'm kind of like, okay, I'll just have one of these kind of thing. It's just kind of warm out. I'll have one of these kind of thing. But since it's getting colder at night now, I can't see myself smoking them super often. But I'll definitely finish off this pack. It won't be a pack that I mind finishing off by any means kind of thing. But it's not a pack of cigarettes I'd buy again, by any means kind of thing. But um, I'm thinking the rating for them. I'm thinking the rating for them. I'm gonna think I'm gonna give them... Six out of 10. Mm. Mm. I'm trying to be harsh with my ratings. Do I wanna give them a six out of 10? I don't know. It's definitely not the worst flavored cigarette I've ever tried from Mexico. That's for sure. I've definitely uh, had better. I've definitely had worse. Definitely. Are they above average? Oh, they're definitely above average. Yeah, I'd have to say they're above average. But yeah, I think I'm going to stick with the six out of 10. I think I'm going to stick with six. I think I'm going to stick. I think I'm going to stick with the six out of 10 for the Pall Mall Athens Nightfall cucumber flavored cigarettes from Mexico. Overall, not a bad cigarette, just very much not to my personal preference. But if you do enjoy cucumber-flavored stuff, if you do enjoy cucumber-flavored cigarettes, I definitely do think that this is one of the better options for you, that is for sure. Yeah. Yeah. I think I'm going to leave it at that. Six out of ten for the Pall Mall Athens Nightfall cucumber-flavored cigarettes from Mexico. Well, I think I uh, described the taste pretty well. I think I uh, gave you guys my concise final thoughts. I wouldn't buy them again, as said. But they're not bad smokes, and they're definitely the best cucumber-flavored cigarettes I've had from Mexico so far. But I don't like cucumber, and so I wouldn't buy them again. But they're definitely better than not, that is for sure, and I will indeed finish off the pack. 
even though it is going to take me a little while. Just wouldn't buy them again, though. But, but, I think that's all I had to say. And so as such, now, I'm thinking I should probably go ahead and roll the outro. Thank you so much for watching this video, guys. I certainly hope you guys have enjoyed watching my video on uh, the uh, Paul Mall Athens Nightfall flavored cigarettes from Mexico. If you guys have enjoyed watching this review, of course, please make sure to uh, like and subscribe for more content. I have my Instagram, my book, my merch, my PO box, and my second channel all in the description down below. Go check it all out. But you know, thank you so much for watching, y'all. Till the next one, stay safe and peace and have a great one. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. You know what I'm saying? I'm saying.